<laughs> We're live. We're live. Without Jack Brown again. Bless him. <laughs> Is it work? We're, we're going to look to change the time of this thing so it can suit everyone. Uh, main issue being the Aussies, the, the time difference. Make if we change, if we put it in the evening for us, it'll be middle of the night for you guys over there. So it's a complicated one. We'll see what happens. Lockdown was good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was, mate. I mean, it's one of the things me and Lottie have spoken about. It's like we don't really want it to end. It's been quite nice. Normally, I get to see her probably one day a week. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's, there's been some good things to it. It's just, you know, it's nice to get back to normal life as well, though. Oh, yeah, mate. I've got to do some work at some point. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. How you in. doing, buddy? The only one you missed was when I was, when I was hosting. <laughs> <laughs> How did the uh, French stream go? I watched it. It seemed quite good. Yeah, it was, mate, it was really interesting. Cyril has a lot to say about the sport. You know, he's he's um he's got a lot of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of rugby knowledge, right? Because he, he used to play professionally as well. Right. Um, and then had his accident. But he's still he still worked like up till last year, he was working at the Catalan the, the official team, the running game team. Right. As their video analyst and whatever. So, you know, he's got a lot of rugby knowledge. And then he was there at the very beginning of wheelchair rugby league and has a lot of wheelchair rugby league knowledge as well. And he can just see things like he watches a bit. I mean, I, I think I can see quite a lot. Yeah. But then he, he's just another level. He can see everything. And, he, and he, yeah, it's very interesting. It's good. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's good, man. Just, I, let him, I let him talk quite a lot. It was quite, it was quite a relaxing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what you just chilled out? I was watching it. I was like, "Damn, Seb's really just sitting back and." <laughs> Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm serious when I'm French. Yeah, yeah, we know. I'm only ridiculous when I get to speaking English. <laughs> I'm Gary or Sylvia. I don't know which one. It's, uh, it's Gary. It's Gary. All right, so today, second half of the New South Wales against England game. Last game of the Ashes Tour. Yeah, still in Wollongong. We're currently at half time. Uh, what was the score? 40 to 8, I think. Something, uh, like that. something like that, yeah. What was that? Yeah, that was the score. What was that the Catalan score? I can't remember now. Uh, 40 to 8. Yeah, so, okay. So, uh, second half, let's, get, let's dive into it. We don't have a third guest today. Uh, did you try Tom Coy? Uh, I, yeah, I missed him late, though. I tried um, I tried Joe, actually, because obviously he got man of the match. And I thought, this would be a nice one to get on, but I'm not sure if he's up yet. Yeah, I'll try and, I'll just try and call Tom quickly, see if he can come on. Call him. I mean, I've missed him, but I don't think he's... I'm now that it. now that I've answered his email, I can I can <laughs> call him without any to see if he answers. Oh, have you not seen anyway, it? If he doesn't oh, answer, it. we can get back into it. Or we could get Twig. See if he's on. The new Scotland coach, head coach, well, joint head coach. It doesn't look like Tom's answering. No, uh, like I said, I tried messaging him, but I'm not. I don't even know if he's read it. All right. All right. Well, let's get this started. <laughs> so yeah, 40, 48, I believe. I think these are just highlights of the game before. No, he's probably busy reading his emails now. <laughs> that highlights. Yeah, yeah, of the uh, game before. That was a good pass. Trying to keep an eye to see if Jack pops in, but I can't do that and what's it? So, uh, it looks like this. Uh, DM's back on. Yeah, we've got uh, Lewis. There. We've got Lewis Scraps duo on ours. We always back got, on as well. Yeah, yeah, we've got William, Diab, Fabian, Steph, and Michael Jordan Johnson. 
And then our extra two are that's you. That's that, that was their starting five, I think, wasn't it? So they're back. They're back to their starting five. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Because number, number nine was the one you didn't know at the beginning, which is something Johnson, if I remember. Michael Johnson. It was my joke. So Seb, Lewis, Tom, and Joe and Scraps. Is that the? For the English guys, I think it would just be the go back to what they know. Um, for a bit there, they were you know, a bit slowed down. Probably don't realise what the New South Wales team is like. Oof. Oh. Through this time, though, good defence there, Eddie. Uh, in fact, I got lucky there. He was not square. Making the tackle, Collins over the top, but Coy. Cut. That was messy, but it worked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was dodgy. Back on song, the English. Watch it back. I want to see because it... you were just laughing then. <laughs> but Nathan, uh, Nathan's yeah. been drowned, so he comes back. But I want to see if it was actually on, or if that was just lucky. Fab oh, Fabian doesn't go back properly. Yeah, well, just sorry, just Joe, can you jump five seconds again? I want to see how Steph was defending. Uh, that's the play of the ball there. Yeah. I think it happens uh, once the ball is gone. As a defender, you start watching because you think, "Oh, I'm I'm not involved anymore." So that kind of what oh, happened yeah, yeah. there to Fabian, and you just you know you kind of disconnected and started thinking, "Oh, the ball's gone now," and and was sitting there watching and uh, and forgot that there was still it could still come back to his side. Nothing big or spectacular. And as you saw there, straight through a gap. It happens. I, I, I've I've daydreamed many times during a game. Oh, mate. Well, we saw my one in the bloody Challenge Cup final. That was where I was talking to uh, Dan, who was on my inside. And he's like, let's swap back, swap back. I need to get out the wing. I was like, all right, right, right. And then the ball played and I turned and just went, idiot. And he just went past me. It's the worst. Yeah. Stuff that happens. He's put that one over. Oh yeah, just gotta you know keep yourself out of it and get back into the game without thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, can you hear the motorbike behind? Should I close my window? Uh, no, that's all right. I can't hear it that loud. I don't know if people in the chat can. I'm sure, they'll let us know. Of the chairs again, coming in and just stopping those chairs. Commentator's on it. He's like, just gotta stop those chairs. <laughs> Yeah, because it was it was a two on two defense. There was no, it was it wasn't on kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it was simple errors. You've got to trust your teammates because Fabian jumped in to help Steph, but I don't. Steph might not have needed help, but then that left Scraps alone on the wing. That was a so joke. Passed it back to Scraps. And then Steph came to cover, and then he passed it back to Joe. <laughs> Spectators and commentators alike. English adapting to the conditions very well. There's a nice ball for Coy to uh, That was uh, interesting, actually. So you had a very quick tag there. Spectators and commentators. Yeah. So this is this is the you know classic fast play of the ball and and yeah. You got two two on on Tom, so they weren't set up right. But it's so go back to before my tackle. Uh, that was yeah, slow, there, drive, yeah. slow drive off of Lewis. It went left. Fine, sunny Friday afternoon. I can tell you in the Illawarra. That, yeah, so that's you know. So you also got. I can tell you, I got nearly three players there. Yeah, yeah. He's still, he's still there, hesitating. So they're not. They it's can't there. go further on the field. Um, Joe's there. Yeah. So that that's that's the triangle. So Jack, if I don't know if people have been watching Jack Connor training, I think he talked about the triangle. But that that was me like going towards the outside of the pitch and then cutting back inside, and that drew in like two players on me and the third one that was hovering behind me, just in case I, well, I wasn't stopped. So then a fast play of the ball, and then those three players basically they're not completely fucked, but um, they couldn't they're not, they're not, yeah, they couldn't get further enough. For our, our attack was really spread out. It went all the way to the touchline. It, it, it just, like that's spreading out your attack is really important as well. So we had, you know, players 
all along the pitch, all the way to the wing, and you just had we could just simply pass it. Not too late. Tom did a great job passing it at the perfect moment. Yeah, held on to and, it. Know, so. Eventually got us a two on one. Yeah, they'll be trying now to get that ball back, or at least. Yeah, Fabio needed to push wider, but the problem was, the problem is he couldn't push wider. If you want to watch it again, sorry, but if you want to watch it again, he he had to stay there in case because Michael Johnson was caught up in my tackle. So Fabian was just you know late late in pushing because he didn't want to, there to be a gap. So that Michael Johnson's over there. So yeah, you've got you've got three There's sort of three players, players, and that and now our four players are going to push out all together, really spread out. So you see yeah. how late Michael Johnson was on Tom. Fabian had to be there, kind of in support, and and both of them are late on their on their on their guys. It's just that's what happens when there's a fast player of the ball that draws in three people. It's all, it's, yeah, it's one of those. Whenever two people tackle one person, it's both of their fault. One person has to communicate that they've got them to let the other person know to push out, and like vice versa. Yeah, you shouldn't ever tackle with two, but. Yeah, I mean, there's some some yeah. place hard to stop happens, but you've got to kind of cover for it yeah. afterwards. Yeah, he needed to push out because obviously that wasn't his man. But at the same time, what he was trying to prevent, he ended up letting happen on the opposite side of him. So yeah. it's a knock-on effect. Yeah, they'll be trying now to get that ball back, or at least force the penalty. <laughs> You're all right, buddy. <laughs> oh, I like a big smash from Fabian. Side for England. Oh, good pace. Play on the call. A great recovery. <laughs> oh. Oh, my shoulder. Oh. Making the run. Hallowell really does seem to be the orchestrator. Ball goes to Oh, that's a shame. Went yeah. backwards. Though. Went back. Reset. You got your two. Short ball for Cloyd. Oh, there's the fumble. Uh, oh, you got. Home. You had a fresh six, though. I was touched, was it? No, no, no. Wait, but I thought, yeah, he signalled fresh six. Because so I'm pretty sure Joe's pass, they knocked it down. Wait, that was weird. They knocked on. No, referee says went back. There's Bashara cleaning up. Let's watch from Joe's pass here. So he goes to throw it. And the ref calls for a fresh six there. Yeah, I think Tim overpowered. I know Tim's not refing, is he? No, no. It's whoever's on. Weird. Oh well. It did look. It didn't look like a. a knock on. I think he knocked it backwards, and then I did it off. Yeah, it was the the player that made the tackle on you turned around and hit it. Looked like. Double knock on first from. England and then the Blues. Yeah, strange. Oh. Yeah. I've got no defense. So let's see. We'll watch that back. See how it happened. Because that... From this play the ball. They weren't, they weren't doing fast play the ball or anything. So. Not from this setup. Explanation from Steve Houston, our referee on this near side. Double knock on first from England and then the Blues. Jerry, Jerry, yeah, it's not so, up. Yeah, just not looking. Uh, uh, you can see Joe when he's retreating there. He's not looking at all. Look, right now. Yeah. Turns he's looking at the ref. I don't know what he's looking at. Yeah. He's away. He won't be caught. The commentator's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we were saying about when you're retreat retreating, always, you know, watching back what's happening in the attack because if not he, he wasn't looking back at what was happening and then if he if he was he could have seen that they were going to attack on the right wing yeah yeah and be ready for it trying to work out what was going wrong they morning but from the crowd the 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 junior the junior ruse and the you didn't have this tag on there'd be no try and it wasn't square you don't you don't need a tag on to score a try you can play with one tag on the shoulder. Um, not unsure what they've just watched, but this crap's complaining. <laughs> uh, I can't. I was on the game. I can't see the comments. Yeah. In the middle of Wollongong. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, support both teams. That's uh, Australian refing is more, all about just play, and uh, like even if you're not square, yeah. they don't. They don't always whistle it. So there's a big it's, bash. They don't yeah, it's, 
it's one of those where it's quite nice to get the the, the fluidity of the game still going and stuff like that. Watch it again. How did you get through the gap like that? This is twice in a row they get through these gaps that aren't supposed to be there. I know he passes out, passes back inside. No, there, there. So it's between Tom and Joe. Good cover by Lewis from the outside. Yeah, but how, how was there a gap? I don't get it. Uh, so I think. So yeah, Lewis Bill comes yeah. in for Tom. Bill comes and then, in. Yeah, I'd say Joe. Oh, wow. So yeah, watch, watch Joe. So Diab's his man, and he just dips in behind him. Yeah. Caught watching. It was King Beast mode. <laughs> he needed to make that tackle. He was Is it so? What What do you teach them at the Argonauts for defence? Like, oh, we have a lot of just comedy. kidding, mate. Well, mate, you you saw the right That's Lewis. I'm guessing you're talking about. No, I was talking about the one before that and the one before that. <laughs> that <a> joker. <laughs> No, good, good push from Diab, but good recovery from Lewis. Beast mode, as you say. Heavy contact. Is he in pain? <laughs> Probably. He seemed to stop dead on his uh, <laughs> little stumble on the torso. Yeah. These things happen. I know Diab is making a first just to get a penalty. That's all. What's what's going on? I don't get it. I thought the call was knock on, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, sloppy. that's a waste. Yeah. If that was first tackle, that's a big waste. But then you know, they're trying shit. Which I guess you have to when you're 52 12 down. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where you have sort of risky plays for your high risk, high rewards state of mind. I'm sure a lot of people here today would be watching this for the first time. Oh, turnover here. I think that might have been for two tags. Yeah, so the player in there can't pick up a tag from there. Calling me offside. Until the tag's taken off. Uh, then the uh, New South Wales player hadn't taken the tag. England player had obviously picked up the tag off the last place. Double tap on the floor, mate. There's a penalty. The commentator's like the, just uh, making so up rules by the sound of it. It's pretty much. Um, oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can't pick up a tag after you've dropped one on the floor. It's like, what? Uh, <laughs> it's like that's the, the thing about our sport. There's so many commentators that don't have never seen him. I mean, this guy never saw wheelchair rugby league before this tour actually started. Right. So he's been picking it up since game one. Yeah, yeah. But then as they don't know all the rules, they, they have to come, sometimes they come to conclusions like, oh, it must be this rule, they can't do this. Sometimes it's ridiculous what they're saying, but it's funny. Yeah, that was funny. He was like, oh, after he dropped the tag, you can't pick it back up. Oh, that's a surrender <laughs> tackle. It's like, no, he tapped the ball on the floor. <laughs> Good pace. Great stop. Oh, two tags. Ah, oh, I dropped the ball. In this non-contact game, nice hands. Oh, Jack's on. I'm guessing Halliwell went off after that one. On the inside, they kept it alive beautifully. The English there's Collins. Collins, you didn't have any speed on the uh, wing again. Second time. The number one plays it. There's Coy. <laughs> I thought Jack was just going to pull it off him then. Yeah. Turn his way through, but the Blues defence held strong. Collins are up quickly. Oh, that was lucky. Brown, yeah, he bred that the whole way. Got numbers to the outside. Yeah, good, good pass. To the good heads up then from Nathan. Yeah, but yeah, that's first. Scraps is good at that, making oh, you know, wait. He's yeah, very he's aware. But uh, uh, called a tackle, did they? That's yeah, weird. yeah. Yeah, that first one, because Will was all over that. Jack sort of snatched it out of him. He has been on. This is his first time on for the whole game. I was thinking he hadn't played much time today. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what happens now. Just realised Jack's got shorts on. 
Yeah, first time ever. Jesus. I mean, there's some short shorts as well. I, I had to be mighty careful getting up and out of my chair. Over Halifax. Yeah, Dutch, one of the veterans of the sport. Uh, Nathan covers inside. That was a good call. Jack called that. Watch Jack. Back to uh, Nathan as he comes back. Just there, little point backwards, called the kid. Yeah. See, Jack Jack Brown making Collins look good. Uh -huh. I hope he kept that one, did he? He's going to call time for him down also. Uh, Collins, you talk about the wheelchair basketball. I have seen, yeah. That. I can, Joe was very uh elusive that day, he was like faking all over the place. Yeah, the ballers is there a little bit of he was pumped. Uh, competition, and of course, the other one that comes to mind is the uh rugby union. Yeah, the, the rugby, yeah. So, hunt Joe's 100 one of those players where oh, oh no. <laughs> Hey, I told you the Argonauts they have problems with catching balls and shit. <laughs> but um, with Joe, especially with his run when he breaks through, he definitely has um, like when you're like, oh, he's gonna give it now. You need to be a beat later than that. Like when you think you've timed it perfectly, you're a beat too early, and you'll overrun yeah. it. This sport, I guess, there's still a bit of confusion between the two sports. Yes. Murder ball. I'll keep saying it. <laughs> um, is a, the commentator's just like, this isn't murder ball. Uh, issues in all four limbs. So, a disability in all four limbs, where it be quadriplegic or a quadruple. Uh, That's quite good. He's actually breaking down what the um, the different rules between what murder ball is and what this is. Yeah. I think it's important for people to know because. Um, oh, big time. So many people confuse the two sports, um, and then nothing like go, go, go. Oh, oh <laughs> grab the wheel. <laughs> we have uh David Roy with us, who was the uh, other ref at the World Cup final. Yeah, a little, a little friendly banter. Another dickhead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The main thing for us is just to get participation. I think that's yeah. for all sport. We'll FFC. Play, you know, getting as many people as we can play. It's full power. Uh, any sort of sport. And, and I guess a tool like drift this there. in English um, is a great advertisement for the sport. They've been to Townsville, to Brisbane. The first test in, Wollon in uh, Liverpool on Monday night. Sorry, in the two games here. Out wide. This week. Ooh. Um, all right, that's a shame though. Because it, it's just it's funny how... Should've There's so it. many gaps there, but it's just from a you know a couple of fast pair of balls. Go back again, because what I do is nothing spectacular. Uh, and Lewis even misses Joe as the first runner. Like you see him tag up, misses the tags, put it on properly. Yeah, gives it to you. Then I, like... I, I, came, I managed to join these two players and play quickly, and they're all back turned, and then it just gives gaps everywhere. Should give, give it just before he got to the. Uh, yeah, to the ball. bad keeping that. It's a bit like Ryan Richardson there. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, the Three on one doesn't give the ball. Okay. Uh, yeah, but anyway, all, all those gaps just literally just came from a fast play of the ball. It's not even arriving fast at the, you know, as a player. That was just once once contact was made, then the fast movement was done, you know, just yeah, yeah. putting a tag on and playing. And every single defender had their backs turned, so it's just so much easier to attack. So it won't be long before we got a full national competition, hopefully. A truly national competition. I feel like I'm saying the same things over and over again, but it's just so so powerful the fast play the ball. Yeah, man. That's a sub on then for Australia too, I think. Yeah, the discussions in the I guess they're having the discussions in the background now. Put him under pressure then. Again, give us a bit more of an opportunity. Aki, tu donnes uh, carton jaune, David. Uh, it's a bit hard. Aki. Uh, us down south. 
Je comprends rien au rugby de toute façon. Non, en vrai, il y, y a un live ce soir euh, en français, si tu veux, à 18h30. Avec, euh, c'est toi qui arbitre en plus. Avec Cyril Torres et, euh, et Nico Cosé. Oh, that was a shame. Tu sais, là. Great little uh, tip from Lewis here. Plays for the retag. Little shunt. Then Nathan grows out. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, Nathan was slightly early. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lewis had some trouble. Fun. So it was like barely, barely nearly forward kind of thing. And then by the time he could try and play the ball, there was already an Aussie defender on him. So it was a hard one to make. Yeah, I would have just kept hold of it. Yeah, I would have kept hold of it. Et David, il euh, n'y a que toi qui siffle cette, euh, cette règle. Moi, moi, euh, Great chair, David. Je ne me suis jamais fait siffler pour ça à part, à part avec toi. Liam Luff, on for Diab. Worst game I've had first, playing, uh, first time playing in Craig's chair. Craig, her name? We have Wayne now on for you, sir. I thought you had a, a good performance, mate. Finally, mate. It's got scratched. It had about 10 balls on the wing there. It was a, a free try if it was a fast player. First time he actually managed to score. Tenth try. I mean, tenth attempt is what I mean. To score a try on the wing from scraps. And that was just enough for him to So how can we change chair, dear? What happened to your, your old chair? The Blues taking on plenty of water, as are the English, and fluid. It's the edge I only... I think I, I feel like a lot of you in, in, in Australia have shit chairs as well. No, I mean, it's no offense or anything. It, it just... They all seem... Um, well, not all of them. Fabian seems like to have a good chair. But so a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people in Australia have these really big, heavy... Chairs that don't seem e easy to maneuver at all. And, uh, yeah, sure. yeah. We are, we are like lower quality chairs. On, uh, Wednesday night. Not a nice old RGK, you know? Yeah, we're definitely. People wondering what is this little thing dangling behind Scraps' chairs because he always keeps a little towel with him when he's playing. So he yeah, dry his, dry his hands. On the same page, you know, it's bot. Yeah, sports up in about 15 minutes. Non, non, David, moi, moi je ne le fais pas. Moi, moi c'est juste que je suis tellement rapide que tu n'arrives pas à faire la différence entre, euh, entre cette règle et, et ce que je fais moi. Wayne le fait, oui. Et moi, je, je remets mon flag tellement rapidement que à l'œil nu, un humain ne peut pas, euh, peut pas remarquer. Euh, <rire> What I mean, I don't know any companies actually out in Australia that I'm guessing they they're all homemade sort of chairs, as in uh, not homemade but sort of all made in Australia. Yeah, I think so. I, I did see that one of the players bought a per Performax recently. Okay, um, pretty sure it's European. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice pass from Joe. Is that what something you teach them at training as well? Oh, that one is. Especially from Joe, trying to get him to pass is the hardest thing. You know that. Comment ça, trop d'agressivité euh, C'est du rugby, hein Il ne faut pas que tu oublies que c'est du rugby, quand même. Just last minute, last minute thing. Watch it back. I want to see that try. There's something I've got. I forgot to mention as well. Yeah, you're gonna pass at all. <laughs> you're gonna try and hit through every time. All right. So if you watch Wayne and Joe's defense, there, it's quite shocking. Yeah, they didn't even move. Both of them, they, they, I mean, Wayne did exactly what he shouted at James Hazel for. Like, like he's got his winger over there, but he comes back inside. And, uh, and you see, he just saw the winger and he comes inside. 
That's a big old circle. Yeah. But uh, but it's what Australia, I mean Australia, New South Wales, they do the same thing. It, it's, it's the effect it has on you because they keep cutting inside all the time and all that. And you keep each never know where they're going to go. And so, yep, messes with guessing. your head a bit. Messes with your head a bit. Um, I think we did though. It was quite a good balance. I, I, I did want to mention. Out, called him out and then was like, yeah, but it's because of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, people were asking last time all games will be on BBC um, worldwide yeah, yeah, red it button definitely it depends on the um, what's going on with the Olympics now yeah well this is what the news we had before yeah uh, originally it's, it's supposed to be on but yeah who knows now man and we forgot to mention as well the brand new World Cup trophy. I don't know if people have seen that over in uh, in Australia, but there's a brand new World Cup trophy that's beautiful with all these wheelchair gravings on it and all that. It's, it's amazing. Mm. Built in Manchester. Decides at the time, majority of the time. By a a company that is a very good friends of my my grandmother's. That is a very tight little defensive line there. You'll know. Um, so why why are they sitting so tight here, Seb? I know they're trying to do a trap D, but that our seems, team. Yeah, yeah. Look. Uh, I can't see where they're the all their players, but, but I mean, most most of the Australian players are right in the middle there. So I guess we're just copying them. We have the French ref here commenting everything, saying all the calls are wrong. <laughs> C'est marrant que tu dis ça, défense 4 mètres. Si tu veux qu'on on regarde la, la finale de la Coupe du Monde, et on va voir si la défense était toujours à 4 mètres, l'arbitre défense. Yeah. <laughs> Saying bullshit. If you watch back the World Cup final, he would sometimes put the French at two meters away from us, and he put us at seven meters oh. away. So. Currently, was unlucky then. Don't want any comments from a French ref on this channel. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> That's later on. Oh yeah, you've got your second half tonight, ain't you? It just comes down to yep. Participation. Uh, I have my man. And spread it out, get it out, skip pass, nice. So you don't really have much of an option. Good pass. Something Scraps can do is passing the ball mm -hmm. when he when he decides to. <laughs> That's why he was the number two. Exactly, Tim. Right, he. <laughs> I think. I mean, I, mean, uh, I, 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 make, I make jokes about you, Tim, but. You're not the ref I hate the most. He is. <laughs> Just hey, Tim. So, so, so you know because I don't think anyone knows this, but the year after the World Cup, so the the season that followed, uh, this ref here, who was second ref, came up to me. We were, you know, it was a weekend or whatever, and he came up to me and said, "Ah." I really fucked you up last year. Yeah, I, we, we, we did everything we could to make France win. We, we beat you up. This is a true story. There were three refs in the room with me, and all three were saying this to me. So. Not number 13 on. I know him. What's his name again? It's Karim Diab surname. Uh. But, uh, I don't know. We we'll certainly need it. There he is again. And again inside. I don't think oh. so. Uh, facing the, uh, I think it is. Facing the uh, in the surface. Oh, a little kick. England, where the Blues want them at the right end of the court. <laughs> work his way through the Blues defence. Tim Robinson. It is, mate. Is what it you is. said. Yeah. 
tag there now. Nice. Boyd gets it away to Collins. Collins finds a gap. Luff coming across in cover. Gets the ball away. There's another one for James Simpson. A little uh, airplane fashion there. Simpson. While scoring the try. <laughs> That's his balance though, isn't it? Yeah. But then, so then the, what's happened again now is the last 13 minutes and uh, New South Wales have taken off their stronger yeah. side and, and you know, uh, had a bit more players to give everyone the full experience. Intention de déflagueur. Déflagué. Euh, je ne sais pas de quel... quel, quel Quel blocage tu parles là? Very upset now. I work so hard to be said most hated. <laughs> Mate, I secretly love you. Yeah, you wouldn't call. I think I, I really, really hated you after the World Cup final. Yeah, but you probably didn't speak to him then. <laughs> I didn't know him. Yeah, I didn't know. Him. Yeah, I, yeah. I did have a chat with him actually during the World Cup. Yeah, before. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I was saying, oh yeah, you doing a good job. You're a good ref. That's good. And then, uh, and then he did the World Cup final. I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, not a good ref. And then we did the Ashes tour, and then it was like ridiculous ref. Yeah. Oh. I was about to say, Wayne, can he get that? Why is Wayne wearing? Oh yeah, sizes. I was about to say, why is he wearing nine? Yep. Losing defense. It's a shame that no one had any speed there in support. Yeah. Uh, done, Joe's yeah. done this a few Philly. times. <laughs> oh. So it just shows Jack's not that fast. You know, he got he got caught up with. Look that little uh, little tug on the chair. Takes a heavy hit from Karim. Collins bounce pass ends up with Coyd. Bounce pass. He's got three in the second half. Yeah, well. All in the space of the yeah, I was only asking Diab because um, uh, one of my mates' first name is Karim. As they no doubt have a few moves they want to work. So what? What's uh, Hawksha? Hawksha. Hawksha. I don't know how you say it, mate. Probably saw up the other end. Uh, the, uh, Karim fell over. He was in the play of the ball area, so they were allowed to play on. So and then now, so right now I'm on the on the bench. I've broken all four of my wheels, both my my main wheels and both my spare wheels. Oh, that must suck. Of, uh, now you're having a little. I, I, I was I was lucky. It was the last uh, last game of the tour. It's the way to the right, hub in Wollongong. Mike Sheen and Brad Grove with you. And there was less, less, less of a crowd this game because this, this was played right, right in the middle of the day. I can't remember. Oh, well, morning. Actually, I think it was played in the morning. Right. Yeah, yeah I, bor I borrowed yours. Yeah, but then I, I gave them back to you. I think. Are you on right now? Simpson, but he managed to dodge it in time. A bit of a fumble. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think that'll be called back. Oh, um, are, are you doing the? Uh, oh, sorry, answering to you, Diab. Yeah, he's um, he's going for actually Ramadan now. Bless him. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's always it's just one of those things that you've never heard, and then all of a sudden it pops up a lot more. The... Yeah, eleven a.m. Yeah, so this game was played at eleven a.m. in the morning. So. Yeah, not much of a crowd. Stephen Rochekust back on court. Puts it to the right for Kareem. Kareem, no. Oh, good chair, D. Nearly got it down. I only. Oh. No. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that was that. So let's let, watch it back. Let's see Wayne defending. Watch James's little head. That's come on. Ready, ready now. Come on. <laughs> I know that. I know that for any time. Great work there. 
No, that, that's something we've been trying to push. Him Ajay for. Oli. The thing is, this is why we're I remember how happy he was, mate. He was really, really happy. Good lad. Little dance. Is it he loving it, the big man? Nice. Happy about that. I'm happy Wayne's a shit defender. Oh, I'll wait a bit of a look, actually, see if Jack's in yet. No, he's not. Has he not, not got a lunch break? Don't know, mate. Yeah. After a couple of uh, cleansing uh, sherbets, he'll have uh, gone the length, stepped five of them, uh, and made a, a miraculous play, as they often do. Yeah, that'll be a pleasing aspect for New South Wales. Oh. Yeah, come back to first one, right there. Hazel or England, Boardman. There's a gap. Now Brown. Nope, Ryan's now on for to, uh, for Joe. Simpson, good pick up there from Brown. Good lean. Yeah, I wouldn't have given that. And Is that offside penalty? Boardman. Look so. They're, they're not um, building anything now. It's just uh... that was very slow. <laughs> Yeah, it's all very slow, but they're not they're not building anything. They're, you know, yeah. it's just let's try this, let's try this. Yes. Yeah, I remember that pass, I was quite impressed with James. Nice. But it, yeah, but it, I don't know, it gets through, but it's not satisfying because it's just Oh no, um, that solo performance, hundred percent. Yeah, there's no there's no construction there, there's nothing. There's that movement of the ball again. Yeah, just moving it backwards and forwards. Which is a shame. The kind of read. Boardman now with the kicking duties. The only final, side, uh, the final only five minutes of the Ashes tour. What do you say? Sorry? And the only plus side from that was because of the long pass and the passing back and forwards. You just, Australia knew they had to, Australia, New South Wales had knew they had to move side to side. That was the only way you was going to get a gap, really. But, yeah. There's better ways to do it, definitely. No, we could have had James Simpson on. I'm just thinking about it. Is it, he's not on Facebook, is he? No, but you don't need Facebook to be on here. I'm trying to think. Um... Plenty of chat from these players. These boardmen, the two number nines. Boardman and Johnson come together. It's always annoying. When you break through, you just feel the tag go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, slapped it down. Uh, presentations in his <laughs> Jack, Jack shout back to zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No doubt which way the uh, result will go. I wish we'll finish their tour unbeaten. But so, yeah, he didn't have any speed then. I mean, he managed to watch it back. Just watch. I mean, Ryan had the ball and he was still moving forward slightly, but he didn't have any speed at all. Like, he's not going fast right now. Yeah, he's not even looking though for offloads. Like, I don't even think he knew he had James on the outside. Will did, but... Points scored for the English yeah, but it does show a point though. Even if you're not going fast, you don't have any pace, Everybody's but you draw, you still manage to draw because you can draw in two people without being a fast player, and you play oh, yeah. the ball fast. It just gives. I mean, Jack just had. You know, I know he's a great player, but it was still easy enough for him to get through because the people had their backs turned again. You don't. You don't need to be a fast player to do a great play of the ball. You can just turn up really slowly, yeah, draw in two players, give your shoulder, tag up, play, and they're both offside. It's about 380 points scored by England on this tour. How many points? I can't see them. 380, I think we said. Quite a lot. 
Uh, One of the commentators is just like, oh, I can't see them getting back in it today. <laughs> There's a minute left. Good catch. That's something uh, Jack can do that's more impressive, getting back up just from lying down like that. I don't know how he does that. Give it. Oh, good hands. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 better pass. God, that, that was really not square. I mean, watch, watch back how James played the ball then. Wait, yeah, yeah. It? it spins much. And he stops the spin there and plays now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a penalty. How was it not a penalty? Hazel once again, bodies on the deck. It's funny how he waits for the last 40 seconds of the Astros tour to finally catch a ball. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love you, James. To chew the clock up in the dying stages. There's Richardson. Richardson, did he get it down? No. No, he didn't. Oh, tackle, really? He's got both tags on. There's Richardson. Richardson, did he get it down? No. Oh, touch. Oh, did he point at a line? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you see the, how the cones are further away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, it was a messy end for England. There. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Nice rugby to watch. It was just, you know, just trying to get through. But um. It's interesting. But then, but then, I don't think New South Wales were doing everything to try and win the game. They were just, you know, they were playing it for the sport, yeah, um, and giving their whole team uh, this experience of being able to play against England, which, which is, which is an amazing experience. Yeah, well, that's it. It's like they they learn a lot more by putting everyone through that sort of um, that sort of match. Intent, yeah, the intensity and all that. Of it is, yeah, it's a lot higher than what they can give anyone else. So it's. You know they could they, they, yeah they could have been more competitive if they really really were trying to get the win mm. which i think by then they, they really really weren't they were just trying to get the best out of the experience oh yeah but that's it it's like well i mean hopefully because they're supposed to be coming over here aren't they uh is that october don't see that happening no i don't know if they're gonna open their borders at all for that god this, this year is awful We've missed our games against. Bro, well, yeah, there's no way we're going to miss France. against yeah. Oz. I was yeah, looking mate. forward to all this. Damn. But um, yeah, yeah. But sure. then um, they have a they have a few players. Um, I don't know, but they're not beginners, but they're they you know they're working towards getting better. I say. Oh, and uh, it'd be interesting to see their progress over the years. And, well, um, the, the difference between uh, that te uh, that whole sort of test series and the 2017 World Cup is massive. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, well, they're much better. But um, they they still got the the amazing hands. You know, they 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 know they know how to play footy kind of thing. But they just um, still lack in in the constructive side of of the rugby. Yeah, like, yeah. It's the uh, it's the balance, it's being able to have the balance between both of constructive and still have your free flow sort of format. Mm. Yeah, but I enjoy watching them play. That was, that was the Ashes tour. Did you enjoy That's it? The Ashes tour. I loved the Ashes tour. Yeah, I, I was fat during the Ashes tour, but you know it doesn't matter. I enjoyed watching it anyway. Did you stay over sort of in that area for like two months afterwards as well? Yeah. Oh, so after the Ashes. After that game, I think we stayed. I don't know how long, maybe not very long, maybe a day or two, and then they all went off from Sydney, and I stayed in Sydney for a while with. Uh, I've got cousins over there. I've got family, right? And so did Lewis. Yeah, Lewis and his, and his wife, and and so did Tom. I think Tom. There you go. Yeah. And so we we met up. We watched. There was the World Cup at the moment at the time uh, of Union. So we met. We all met together in a pub and had a. Had a few beers and a nice meal, and then eventually Tom left off from uh, up northern Australia. I went down to um, Melbourne because I've got family over there as well. A lot of family in Melbourne. Yeah, had a great time in Melbourne. 
I have some friends as well from uni that live over there, so I met up with them. And then eventually went over to New Zealand and spent a full month in New Zealand, traveling around, all down North Island, down to South Island, and, and there you go. And then I got out just before the, uh, the earthquake and the eruption and all that. And the, the last place I was, I can't forget what it was called, but they were getting ready for this massive, uh, these massive, uh, what do you call them, floods. Right. And I got out the day before, but like I flew out the day before the whole city, everything was flooded all over like, like mad. The, the whole lake overflowed, whatever. It was, it was crazy. And there was no more flights, nothing. You, every, everyone that was there was stuck there. And I got out like one day before that. Lucky so, man. Especially now. Yeah. But yeah, yeah alas. Right. But uh, so tonight you've got your second half of your French one. So tonight, second half of the French uh, final. I'm still going to be with Cyril Torres, who has yeah. amazing knowledge of the game. Uh, double World Cup winner uh he has won the french championship i cannot name how many times won the european championship twice uh you know he's, he's won everything you can win it's played in australia it's played in england and uh there you go so hopefully people will sign come in uh those that can speak french most of all yeah, it's, yeah. it's cool, French. I see everyone asking for subtitles, and I was like, "Really, guys?" <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope they're all joking. Like how quick you started talking? Yeah, just type this out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I hope people enjoyed the Ashes tour. It was a, it was an interesting, interesting yeah. time. So I hope good games that. over there. And looking forward to the next one, huh? Well, yeah. Well, you see, I think the next one, there's nothing's going to happen, I don't think, before the World Cup. Yeah. So, obviously, yeah. next year is going to be compact preparation. Yeah. I've got to get, I'm, I'm, I haven't been doing that much sport since the lockdown. I've got to get back into it now, like, seriously. Because I had started, you know, getting ready for World Cup, and then all this happened, and it was like. Yeah, yeah. Everyone sort of um, digressed a bit. But. It's going to happen. You can't do anything sort of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Sweet. Well, uh, we're, we're, we're back on Sunday, so Jack should be back on. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, good luck Sunday, you same time. time. Hopefully, we'll be all three again. Yeah, yeah. And, we'll, see. Uh, we'll see how he goes. Cool. <laughs> he might be like, oh, I'm too tired. I don't know. Oh, too wait, tired, work. though. Work. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sweet. Yeah. Uh, right. We'll see you all on uh, Sunday. Anyone who's French in the chat tonight, you'll have Seb as your gracious host. Yeah, David, it's for you, ça, ce soir, 18h30. Allez. Sweet. All right, well, love you then. See you, see you later. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.